what I would tell my past self, it has been a solid, this is where I keep going back to, seven years. And I have changed a lot. Uh, it's, oh, it, it hits going back, but it is sentimental at the same time. Because I'm where I wanted to be seven years ago, the man that I wanted to be seven years ago. And I got to tell him some stuff because there's probably a lot of you out there that are like I was. The, fir the first thing I want to tell him is that you never gave up. You kept going, you pushed through. You never truly and entirely gave up. There were times where you doubted yourself. There were times where you slowed down. There were so many times you were inconsistent. You were a very inconsistent fucker because you let your, your, uh, your emotions and shit and the roller coaster that you were going on of life dictate your consistency. So you needed more discipline for when your, your motivation, your inspiration wasn't there that day. And you got it. It, it took a lot of, uh, it took a lot of practice. It took a lot of coaching yourself to get you out of where you were, the rut that you were in. It took a lot of self-help therapy. Um, and then from there, over the, over the next seven years, it took a lot of just pushing yourself, coaching yourself, learning from many different avenues and areas, picking and choosing what worked for you, what didn't work for you. There's been many along your path that gave you the inspiration and little golden nuggets of info that you incorporate into who and how you are every day. Uh, obviously, my dad, um, another father figure uncle that I have, call him an uncle. He was a good inspiration. And I'm sure there's many, many more. Um, but you, you pick the pieces and you, you put them together. You never gave up. And even now, I still continue to not give up. Um, definitely a roller coaster life always is. I mean, modern time right now, the economy shit, um, a lot of shit going on, but we're not going to focus on that because what you focus on grows and we want to grow the new, not the old. So looking at my notes here, you needed some things, which I, I think we touched up on that. You needed discipline was the first I, thought, I wouldn't say it was the first thing, but it was one of the things you really needed to kick it off. You needed boundaries. You were a good guy. You did everything you could to be. Um, that was your driving force. You really wanted to be a good uh, man. You did everything you could, but you needed some things. The first thing you needed was boundaries. You were, you know, very empathetic, but you weren't, you were strong, but you weren't firm in your boundaries at all. So people would walk the fuck over you 24 seven and you would let it fucking happen for the sake of political correctness or whatever the hell it was you would do it. Sometimes you thought that made you a good man to let him walk over you. And honestly, that's ridiculous to think that. Um, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't take care of yourself enough with these boundaries. You would overexert yourself to try and, and be a good man. There's that damn fly again, I swear. <laughs> um, shit, where was I? Yeah, you... you you wouldn't 
take care of yourself and maintain these boundaries. And so you would overexert yourself trying to be the best for your friends and your family. And you are you're the best you can be for your friends and your family. But now you've learned that a clean house means everything. And this fly is annoying, um, which the house is clean. So I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> Fuck. I keep losing track because this fly. Um, you got to take care of yourself. You're doing it now. Your boundaries lacked before. So you'd overexert yourself trying to be um, which, a good man. And a good man doesn't need to sacrifice himself at, uh, for everybody else. You know, you got to start with you first. You can't help somebody else if you were the one with the broke leg. You got to fix your leg and then move forward. And you've learned how to take care of your own leg and start to move forward so that you can better help other people as you go on your journey. So boundaries was a huge one for you. Discipline was also pretty decent. Um, you work out now. You've been working out for a long time consistently. You're not, you're not like super, you know, you're not like built and shit, but you're consistent. And consistency is key when it comes to creating good habits for yourself. And the discipline is what you needed to stay consistent. You love yourself more now. That's something you struggled with. Um, you used to think that you had to be society's expectations and have what society said a man should be or what a man should have. You thought you needed that before you could love yourself and you learned that's not the case. You thought that's what it meant one of the paths to being a good man and that was not the path that was wrong and you learned to love yourself which also helped well that came along because you learned how to acknowledge your worth and acknowledge that it wasn't with these material things and it wasn't because you would sacrifice to be a good man all the time but just your inherent worth for who and, and how you are. Um, you're naturally worthy. And the only thing that kept you from feeling you were worthy is feeling like you had to be somebody else. Or, or that growing into that other person, you couldn't be worth it along the way and love yourself as you turned into me along this long ass journey i'm trying to quit this habit but just fuck it dude i need a hit i'm trying to do these straight through we're quitting the, this is the habit from the short by the way i'm trying to quit i'm at like a 10 milligram right now I'm trying to get to my next step, actually. I have two bottles of it. I have a three milligram, uh, but I've gone from 35 to 24 to 20. Now I'm on a 10 milligram, and then I'm gonna go to a three. Side note for the vaping, uh, you, you're quitting vaping. That's a mind fuck. You've been vaping since about 2012 and you decided not because of your wife who's into health, not because of your friends or family. You decided for you to challenge yourself and quit vaping and you're succeeding. Bit of a mind fuck. I thought I'd always vape, but I wanted to challenge myself and really feel the health that comes with it. I don't know, I feel like it does create some kind of sinus issues for myself. So I wanna see if that kind of alleviates that and see what, see what I'm like when I'm not on nicotine. So I still believe vaping is safer, but sorry for that. I'm still quitting. Um, 
in the process. So you, you're vaping it up right now, seven years ago in the past, but you're gonna quit one day. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, anyway. Um, Boundaries, self-worth, self-love. You quit vaping. Um, you're firm now. You were strong before. You were always empathetic, but you learned how to control your emotions, which is something that you needed. You were strong before. You've been through a lot of shit. I know the shit you've been through. But you're strong you know, you've learned emotional control, you've, you've learned how to be empathetic and strong, which is something that a lot of the empaths lack. And they get super spiritual and you can get into the narcissism and narcissist and all that shit. You could have chose that path, but you didn't. And I'm glad you didn't because that shit just keeps you in this duality of empath versus narcissist and it's ridiculous it's stupid we know they exist we don't give a shit they're not worth our attention and you had a chance to go dark and you didn't and that's good you came out on the other side you focus on the positives instead of the negatives and you really learned how to how to control that empathic part pair it up with the boundaries and be firm. You're not afraid to be an asshole. You're not afraid to say how it is. And you're not afraid to be assertive and take charge. You're very confident. You, you weren't confident much back then where you're at now, but now you have a ridiculous amount of confidence. And it doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter how much money is in your bank account. It doesn't matter if you have the fastest car doesn't matter if you got a flock of women, you got one woman that you love dearly, and you treat her right, you take care of her well, and you didn't think that was gonna happen either. Yeah, I forgot about that one. You had an inkling that it was gonna happen um, in the future, and you were right. That little, that little inkling that you had was was actually right and you did find her around the same time you thought she'd probably come along so that that was cool <laughs> but you didn't find her until you got yourself right you weren't a hundred percent right on the outside yet but on the inside you were right you got yourself right on the inside first and you basically made this transformation 90, 95% by the time you found her. And that, that was awesome. It's been about some, something that you didn't think was gonna happen. Um, what else, man? You, I'm sure there's, there's other things that you wanted to learn. Uh, you, you, you tried to find, you know, the best way to, to be a good man, a uh, good brother, a uh, good boyfriend, fiance, husband, good son. And not only did you do it, but you learned from all the shit that you went through. And now what you're sitting there doing right now, trying to figure out how to help people best, you learned, well, you didn't really, well, you learned the lessons you needed to be able to teach them, but now you know how to do it. And now you actually do help people for a living, which is a huge relief because you always wanted to know how you could do that, how you could do it best. And you always want to do that for a living. It's a weird, it's, it's a weird thing. I, I, you can't explain it, I can't explain it, but you always wanted to do that for whatever reason. You like seeing people in their power, transformed, living their best. 
you just you see that good in people and you want to help them evolve into it and you do it now and that's something that for the next seven years you will have grinded and and fought to figure out yourself and figure out what it is and you figured it out so keep going don't stop Don't stop, because you got there. Today, about seven years in the future. Now, not, not everything's perfect, and I, I don't think it ever will be, but you should be proud. And If anyone else is seeing it, which it's on YouTube, so we all know that's meant to be there for somebody else to see. But if, if, you, if you're seeing this, um, thanks for taking a little, little walk through the past, a uh, little message to myself seven years ago, if I could send it to him. Peace.